today we're going to do a really quick video on your EFT or electronic funds transfer module. Now you can find this under banking on your left hand side if you click on banking and you click on electronic funds transfer. So we're going to talk a little bit about this today. Now first and foremost, the first thing to remember is this uh, module basically creates a file to export um, under ACH so that we can actually import that file in your banking software. So again, it creates a specific file to make sure that whether you're paying your payroll through electronic funds transfer or your um, suppliers through EFT, it's going to create a specific file, an ACH file, that can actually be uploaded to your banking software and then from there be able to make those payments. Okay. So before we can actually make or do an uh, EFT, there's a few options that we need to make sure that we um, take care of. Okay. Now if you go here and click on EFT or electronic funds transfer button, there's this option button that you see here on your right hand side. Now if you click that, you do need to make sure that you fill out your ACH information. Now again, your ACH information is your company name, company number, the origin number, the name, as well as the type of account or the destination account that we're, we're going to be doing, okay? So you can choose your payroll bank clearing, uh, whether it's payroll bank, petty cash, or a different bank that we're going to be paying out of, okay? So once you have this information, now mind you, where you get this information is you go through your bank. So if you do not have this information at the present moment in time, please contact your bank and they will give you this information. So from there, go ahead and click save. So once you have that set up, there's a couple more things that you want to make sure that you set up before you go ahead and use the EFT option or the EFT module. Okay. The other options that you want to make sure is you have your suppliers also set up with EFT. Now if we go to your supplier list under purchases and go to your supplier express list, if you were to choose one of your suppliers here, for instance, let's just go here and you go to general, you want to make sure that you fill out their banking information. Again, an EFT is an electronic funds transfer, meaning you're electronically sending from your bank to their bank. So you want to make sure that you have their banking account information. If you don't, then it won't work. Okay. Another thing that you also need to set up, and as I mentioned to you earlier, that um, you could pay your suppliers or you can run your payroll. So if you were going to run your payroll, okay, you also want to set up your employees. So click on employees on your left hand side, employee list, and make sure that your employees also have their account information set up. So if you clicked on one of your employees, just like I did, scroll down to banking, and here you go. You need to make sure that this information is also set up, just like so. Okay, you need to have the routing number and account numbers filled in. Okay, so once you have your supplier banking information and your um, employee banking information, you can now pay your suppliers or you can even run payroll. So let's go ahead and do an example of that, okay? So if we were to go ahead and make a supplier payment, so if we were to go to payments and click on supplier payment, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and choose any supplier here that has a balance that I uh, owe. So let's go ahead and go to this supplier right here. There we go. We're going to go ahead and apply this payment and we're going to add to EFT. Okay. When you add to EFT, you are now telling True ERP that you would like to make this payment electronically. So we're going to go ahead and click save. Once we click save, this payment is also going to go ahead and be on the EFT module. Now as I mentioned to you earlier, you have to have the banking account details. If you don't, it will prompt you. So that's perfect. So let's click OK and here we go. We'll just go ahead and add the banking account details really quickly. Okay, just like so. 
choose a bank code and save. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and go and save that payment. Once we've saved that payment, we wanna go ahead and go back to the banking and go to EFT. That now will show up in our EFT file here. So now once you're here, you wanna go ahead and choose which um, accounts that you wanna go ahead and create a EFT file on. So if we wanted to go ahead and choose one, two, or three different accounts, you can go ahead and do so. In this case, we'll just stick with this. When you're ready, you want to make sure that you have the bank account name filled out as well, the date, as well as the transaction description. So again, let's just say that we're going to pay our suppliers, just like so, and export this. When you click export, you want to go ahead and save to a familiar place. In this case, I just want to go ahead and save to desktop and call this supplier payment. Okay. Just like that. And click save. As you can see, it's going to save as an ACH file. So once you click save, it's going to ask you if you'd like to print. In this case, I'd like to say no to that. And okay. So now we have your supplier payment file right here. And this supplier payment ACH file is now ready to be uploaded to your banking software. Once you import this to your banking software or upload it to your banking software, it will now go ahead and send out these particular payments through electronic funds transfer. So simple as that. Thank you guys very much. That will wrap up our EFT training.